welcome back to our channel. episode of Becoming Traveled, I head to Calgary for a girls trip. Willa obviously did not join me on this trip, but luckily for us, my friend also has a pup and she tagged along on our trip all the way to Banff. She was super cuddly and such a sweet pup. We were so happy to have her. So I actually lived in Calgary for eight years before moving to Vancouver. I absolutely love this city, especially in the summer. I cannot stand the cold. And while we were there, they had Taste of Calgary, which is a super fun food and beverage event. So we got some tasty food and drinks, listened to live music. It was really busy and just a really fun afternoon activity. This is also where I got Willa her Happy Meal uh, from Cheddar Dogs. So check out that video of me bringing it home for her. Willa was really excited. Because I was on vacation, I did go for coffee every single morning, which was such a treat. Calgary has an incredible coffee scene. I love DeVille, Monogram, Analog, Alferno, they're all top tier. Next, we hit up some cocktail bars on 17th, so we went to Lulu and Porch. Porch is a new restaurant uh, that just got redone. It is gorgeous on the inside. So we had drinks and dinner all along 17th Ave, and it was super fun. Oh, and you have got to make a stop at National on 8th in the summer for the rooftop patio. Okay, now we are finally headed to the Rocky Mountains. But before heading straight to Banff, you need to go to Canmore. It's a much better vibe, more local shops and beautiful views at every angle. We took our little pup on a trail walk because we were in the car for an hour. It was just gorgeous. This path is so well made and just really nice views along the water and mountains everywhere.
for shopping in Canmore more than Banff. Banff is filled with tourist shops and that have trinkets and Banff t-shirts. So if you're looking for that, Banff is the right place. Uh, but that's not really my type of shopping. I like jumping in from shop to shop in Canmore. So we went to Rocky Mountain Soap and Stonewaters. Stonewaters is just gorgeous. It has really nice locally made products. So we spent about an hour in here just looking through all the different stuff that they had. and where Canmore has Banff on shopping. Banff is way over and above on restaurants and bars. The food is amazing in Banff. But make sure to get your reservations in early. Walking around the day of, it's gonna be really hard to find a spot in certain restaurants. So book your reservations before you get there. Now for the main attraction, Lake Louise. No matter where you are in the world, I guarantee you've seen this iconic Lake Louise picture of the V of the mountains on the milky blue water. One major note for all of you, things have changed. You used to be able to wake up early and head there to get a parking spot. Now they make you drive across the opposite highway of Banff, so when you're turning right We're to go to, to Banff, well. you actually have to turn left and go across the highway yeah. in a windy road and park in a massive parking lot and get a shuttle. You need to book the shuttles beforehand and there are no dogs allowed on the shuttles. This experience was honestly really negative. It felt so transactional and not the nature experience that it used to be. I know that the volume of tourists must be tough to deal with, but then there should be a locals discount or different options for locals. But I've noticed with outdoor tours, even in Vancouver, there's no benefit to being a local anymore, which I think is strange to me considering it's our own backyard that we used to be able to experience for free. And now you have to pay for your national park pass as well as additional fees and unexpected costs. But, oh well, I am done ranting for now. Uh, we can enjoy the hike. Once you've gotten to Lake Louise, you have to do the Lake Angus Tea House hike. And if you are fit enough and you have the energy to keep going, make sure to head up to the Big Beehive for the best view of Lake Louise with the Fairmont in the background. Or you can just stay at the Tea House for tasty food and tea. Just keeping in mind at the Tea House, there is no coffee.
lastly, while you're in Banff, you absolutely have to go to the Fairmont, which is nicknamed the Castle in the Rockies. It is absolutely stunning architecture that you don't often see in Canada. Typically, I book a massage, which gives you access to the spa pools all day, but we were on a tight timeline, so we just went to the cocktail lounge instead. And as you can tell, it's just really like old timey, old fashioned, classic look. It's just gorgeous. So you could even just spend the afternoon just walking around the hotel, maybe stop in to get some food and drinks. But yeah, it's just stunning here. And that's all I've got for you this week. So thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I appreciate you all so much. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.